Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of like a get ready with me but a talk through tutorial. Um, so this video I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of roll with the punches and tell you guys what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing that I am going to do is put my foundation on and all that good stuff. And then since I don't really know what I'm going to do with my eyes yet, we're going to do the eyes a little bit later. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use my Garnier BB cream and this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, like you guys may know, it is the combination to oily skin and it is in the shade light medium. And to apply this, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Expert Base Brush. So I'm just gonna be applying a little bit on the back of my hand and then dipping my brush into it and applying that all over my face. And I really, really like this brush. Um, I picked it up a little bit ago and it is so much faster than my stippling brush. Um, all I do is buff it in just like my stippling brush. I take the product on the back of my hand and then dip my brush into the product and this just buffs it out so much faster. I don't know. I just really am enjoying this brush. So again, just applying this all over my face. Okay, now for my under eye bags, I've been really, really, really tired lately and I don't know why. Maybe it's the changing of the seasons and all that. So I gotta conceal my under eye baggage. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use the Coverall and Olay CC I, CC I Rehab Cream. And this isn't fair. And I'm going to be taking the littlest amount of this product because seriously, guys, this stuff goes so far. So I'm just going to be taking the littlest, teeniest, tiniest bit and then applying that under my eyes and then kind of spreading out the product. And this stuff I really, really do like. And it smells so good and it's so, so creamy. I just really, really enjoy it. I'm going to focus it in my inner corner because I get really really dark right there and then kind of just dragging it up and then I'll take the excess and put a little bit on my lid all right now after I concealed under my eyes I think I am going to be doing a little bit of um, highlighting and what do I want to use I'm going to be using actually you know what I don't really need concealer or I'm not really feeling like I need a highlight so I'm gonna skip that part and um, I'm going to set my face I'm going to be taking the Revlon nearly naked powder and this is in light this is what it looks like and I'm going to be taking it on my eco tools powder brush and just focusing that um, where we put the under eye concealer just to make sure we really, really set that product. And then I am also going to be taking this powder where I usually get pretty oily, which is right in between my eyebrows, a little bit on my forehead. And down my nose. And then I usually get oily like right in this area, so I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of powder there. And a little bit right here. I usually get oily pretty right there. Pretty right there. I usually get oh, pretty oily right in here. So now let's move on to the eyes and then we'll do the contouring and blush a little bit later. So what should I do with my eyeballs? Um, I'm kind of feeling like I want to go kind of natural and I've been really wanting to use um, the Wet n Wild palettes. I absolutely love the Wet n Wild palettes and not too long ago I actually picked up um, one that I haven't seen ever in a drugstore and this is called Camera Obscura. I believe that's how you say it. And this is what it looks like. It's really 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 pretty and just pretty natural colors and I've worn it once before and I really really liked them. Again very very natural and I'm gonna try to open this without chipping one of my nails. 
I swear these suckers are so difficult to get open. <sighs> Mine's completely messy. Okay, so these are the three colors right here, and I did post this um, trio on my Instagram um, with a couple swatches. Um, when I do pick up, this is a little side note, I know it's going to be kind of a ramble video, but um, when I pick up like a couple of things here and there, I do post them on my Instagram just because I'm not, um, I, it's not enough to do maybe like a huge haul video here on YouTube. So if you guys want to see, you know, a couple things that I pick up here and there, definitely check out my Instagram. I'll have a link down below. So anyways, I think this is what I'm going to use for this tutorial. Um, like I said, I'm feeling kind of natural and, you know, I just don't want to do too much since I'm not really doing anything today. So let's see. I'm going to start with my crease first. Actually, yeah, my crease first. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and this is a Soho brush. Um, this I found at, where did I find this at? Walmart. And it came in a pack of five and it's just a really, really fluffy brush and I absolutely love it. It's huge. It's a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be taking this color right here, this very, very taupe brown and I'm going to be putting that as my transition shade. So just above the crease and a little bit in the crease. If you're getting a little bit too sloppy, go ahead and drag the whole color down. Again, we're just using this as a transition color. so. It's really really light and we're gonna do the other eye and I'm sorry about my hair it I'm having a bad hair day and I'm just not in love with it Ugh. okay and again on the other side should pin back my bangs but I don't have a bobby pin okay I really, really like this color as a transition shade too. So now we're going to do the crease color. So it's going to be that one right here. And it's a really, really pretty like peach shimmery color. And we're going to apply that all over our lid. And to do that, I think I'm just going to take an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Everyone should own the e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. They're perfect for anything and everything and they really really pack the color on there so again I'm just going to be applying that all over my eyelid like so this is such a pretty color I don't think I've ever done a video where I have no idea what I'm gonna do it's kind of weird but I kind of like it. Now I'm going to take the same um, brush that we used for that transition color. Maybe add just like a little bit more and just blend out all around that look. Or all around the eyeshadow that we just put down. <laughs> love this quad or love this trio too. It is the Enlisting for Beauty, the new um, army collection. And I think I'm gonna use this, this one right here. It's like, is it matte? Yeah, it's a matte dark brown and it is seriously so pretty. So I'm going to take that and I'm gonna take it on, this is an Eco Tools um, blending brush, but it's um, quite smaller in size. It's just a little bit more precise for me to place product and I'm going just to be dipping into this color right here and we're going to be applying that in the outer, the very very outer V and I like this brush because seriously it doesn't take uh, much at all. Just put a little bit of product on there and then just dab and pretty much covers that whole outer section of your eye and I'm not going to be going too too dark like I said several times already that I'm kind of going for a more natural look and so I am going to be blending it up just a little bit and then going into it again and patting it so it covers that outer V. Oh, okay, sorry about that guys. <laughs> My baby girl woke up from her nap. She's got crazy hair like her mom today. Oh, say hi everybody. My sleepy baby girls. Okay. So, 
where was I? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to be blending, blending, blending. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take that fluffy brush. I don't know what I did with it. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to add any extra product on it. You guys can if you would like. Um, if you guys need a little bit of extra product to blend. But I'm just going to blend those harsh lines from that brown. Okay, so this is what I um, am going to stick with right now. Um, I really, really like it so far. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm going to go actually back into that camera obscura, the first one that we used. And I'm going to go over the crease color again. Just because I lost some of it on this side, which could happen. And so I'm just going to go over it again. And I'm going to do that on the other side. I really, really like this color. Okay, so now I'm just going to go over the dark one more time. Ever so slightly. I'm in a weird mood today, guys. And blending out all the harsh lines again. And I am dipping into that taupe color, the very, very first transition color we put, just to make sure everything is blended out. Okay. Now I'm going to be taking a big, clean, fluffy blending brush, and this is again by EcoTools. I know, I know, I know, I have to get my brush video up. I am so sorry that I've been slacking on that video. I... I think I'm just going to do it. My brushes are dirty, but you know what? I think I'm just going to do it because do you guys care that my brushes are dirty? I don't think so. As long as I'm showing you guys my brushes, I don't really think it matters and you get the gist. But anyways, now the ramble. This is by Eco Tools and it is uh, just a big fluffy blending brush and this I always, always, always keep clean. Um, so I'm just going to go over the whole look that we just did. making sure there are no harsh lines. And for a brow bone and inner quarter highlight, I'm going to be taking the Enlisting for Beauty um, trio and I'm gonna be taking this uh, matte, is it matte? Yeah, this matte light brown color. And then I'm going to take the um, brown that we used um, in our crease and the outer V, which is the brown from the Enlisting for Beauty trio. And I'm going to be taking my pencil brush, which I just had and I lost. Okay, so my pencil brush. So it looks like that. Again, Eco Tools. And applying that underneath my eye and smoking it out. And I am bringing it up so it meets the upper half. That makes sense. Okay, so now after I added the eyeshadow underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and do my gel eyeliner as well as fill in these brows. And I'm not gonna be applying false eyelashes today, so I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to do my mascara. All right, so I filled in my eyebrows and did my eyeliner like I just probably said that I just did. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to mascara and the two that I have been absolutely loving it especially together is the Maybelline Colossal Looks like that and it is the smoky eyes not the regular Colossal the smoky eyes as you can tell by the flames and I have been loving the Mine is filthy the L'Oreal new butterfly mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the colossal smoky eyes and then I'll do the butterfly and I'll probably skip over a whole bunch because I'm gonna be going back and forth back and forth back and forth until I finally get what I want so again starting with the colossal and since I have no fake eyelashes on this time around I am going to pack this mascara on. Oh. oh, seriously right now? You guys just see what I just did? Do you see that? That's okay, I'll show you guys how to get it off. I made a bad thing into a positive thing. Okay, like I said, I'm just loading this stuff on my lashes. And then, I'm going to go in with the butterfly and I love this wand. It seriously 
gets all the clumps. It's almost like um, a clump crusher, but it's not called the clump crusher. It's called the butterfly. And I just absolutely love the wand. I don't know, I'm obsessed with the wand. And yes, my is it worth the hype video um, is going to be soon. Um, I know I was telling you guys when I first did it, if you guys haven't seen my is it worth the hype video, I said in the video I wanted to do one every month. And I think that one was, um, I think in the middle of summer, I don't know. But it's kind of hard. Um, to do is it worth the hype videos every single month because I don't go out and necessarily purchase everything that is hyped up here on YouTube. I do purchase a lot of things that are hyped up here on YouTube, but I don't do, um, you know, a lot. And it does take me a little bit to accumulate stuff that is really, really hyped up here on YouTube. So yes, it has been a few months and yes, I am planning on doing one very soon. So make sure you guys definitely watch out for that video. Those are like the most fun videos to film, I swear. And my last one, I got really, really good feedback on it. So if you guys want to see another Is It Worth the Hype video, and you guys are still interested in seeing one of those, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That will give me even more incentive to film it as soon as possible. Because like I said, I am starting to accumulate quite a bit of things. So like I said, yes, give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that I had that big clump of mascara on my eyelid. Why don't you guys tell me? No, I'm just kidding. So all you have to do is wait for it to dry. And I don't know if it's dry enough yet. But um, wait for it to dry pretty, for a pretty long time. I don't know, how long was I talking? Like five minutes? <laughs> and then all you gotta do is take a brush, um, any fluffy, fluffy brush, and just go over it. And it won't, it won't necessarily um, mess with your eyeshadow. You just do it ever so slightly, just rub back and forth. And as you can see, it's like gone. So and it didn't disrupt it, instead of taking your fingers while it's wet and wiping it, ruining your whole look that you just did, and getting black mascara everywhere. So that's my little tip for today. So all I'm gonna do, I know uh, I've been rambling a lot, so I'm just gonna fast forward through this part. Um, I'm gonna put mascara on my bottom lashes, and I'm also going to line my waterline and tight line my eyes with a coal black liner. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty everybody, so I'm back and we're gonna get through this like crazy because I seriously have been making like 30 long minute videos every single time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of contouring and blush and some lips. So, okay, so I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer Bronzer and this is in 021 Sunlight. I always, always, always used to use this stuff. Obviously I hit mad pan. So let's go ahead and do some contouring. And I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques brush and this is the buffing brush. Okay, so I bronzed my face. I didn't do any contouring. Am I still recording? Yes, okay. Sorry, I'm losing it now. Now I'm like in a frantic because my boyfriend's coming home. And they need to make dinner and I've just been slacking you guys. Okay, anyway. So now I'm going to do some blush. Um, I'm going to be taking the NYC Color Wheel, uh, the Mosaic Face Mosaic Face Powder. And this is in Pink Cheek Glow. It looks like this. Really, really, really pretty. I absolutely love, I'm sorry it's so loud. I turned the TV on and my daughter is playing with her huge loud toy. So anyways, I love this stuff. It's like a highlighter and a blush duo. Um, it's really, really inexpensive and it's just really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. See, I just absolutely love it, it's so pretty. I need to go get more of these. They're seriously so inexpensive. Actually guys, if you're watching this video, like as soon as it posts, um, What's it called? Rite Aid is having a 40% off again. And what else are they having? I put it on my phone for you guys. Um, they're having a 40% off NYC plus when you buy $5 worth of NYC products, you get $2 back. All right, so for my lips, I used two different lipsticks, and the first one I put on was 907C Mauve out of here, and this is by Wet n Wild. 
and this is what it looks like. And then I put on top of it the Milani Uptown Mauve. And this is what that looks like. And I absolutely love these two colors together. And when you're doing something um, natural with your eyes like I did today, not really any contouring, not anything like that, you can really, really have... Um, you can have a really really bold lip and you will totally pass with it. This is the final look that I came up with. So if you like these kind of go with the wind videos, talk through tutorials, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks guys. I swear a half the time I'm doing my makeup, it's blending. Okay. Oh, my stupid hair. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my bangs today, guys. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Blend, blend, blend. Ow. I always do that. Every day. Ah. Every day I poke myself in the eyeball with my mascara. And I swear that hurts more than anything else. I don't know why. Ah! Just one second. Monster break. I know, seriously, so unhealthy, but oh my god, I'm so addicted.